Drive around certain neighborhoods in Detroit, you'll find house after house burned beyond recognition. So as you can see, um, we have a row of houses here uh -huh. that are all vacant. And this is the perfect street for an arsonist. It angers Detroit's new chief arson investigator, Chuck Sims. He grew up on these east side streets. When you walk in here, what do you notice when you walk in a home like this? Well, the first thing I notice is that um, these items were put in here after the fire. If it's just sitting here, I mean, luckily, you know, there aren't any houses next door, but no one want to live next door to this. Exactly. Sam's a 28-year veteran firefighter, does not take his new role of snuffing out firebugs lightly. I'm working with the courts now to make these laws um, a little bit more harsh, where people who are setting these fires, they're going away to prison for a long time. <laughs> As a rookie, a five-alarm arson fire in 1987 killed fellow firefighters. What do you think has kept you so lucky in your 28 years? You know what? Only God. Sims has eight investigators and can only tackle 30% of the suspicious fires in the city. We're getting averaging over 400 dwelling fires a month. So what do we have? What's going on? Can you New funding will add eight more investigators with the goal to investigate all fires. 3,500 structures and more than 600 vehicles are torched annually. The cost, more than $100 million. A lot of people are not willing to come forward to talk about that. They're just afraid of retaliation. 80% of the time, arson is an act of revenge or fraud. We were there as Sims was investigating a fire at this strip club called The Grind in downtown Detroit recently. Also frightening, over the last five years, a murky discovery under the rubble is often a body. We found bodies in, in dwellings well after the fire. Oh. Um, uh, a lot of CSCs go, you know, a lot of rape cases happen in, in um, vacant dwellings. With so many empty blocks, thrill seekers who torch homes for fun have fertile ground. But with the mayor's new efforts to get rid of blight and a new arson chief on the job, wannabe firebugs are now on notice. It's a new day, and I just want people to know you just can't come in the city of Detroit and set fires. That's, that's going to stop.